I won't call it ugly, but it was a defensive struggle for the Ohio Bobcats tonight in their regular season finale. In the end, though, they got the win over Akron 9-3 and punched their ticket to Detroit for the MAC championship game for the first time since 2011. Coming off a loss to Central Michigan, the stakes were simple for Ohio. Win, and you clinched the MAC East title and a berth in the MAC championship game. Akron's defense had something to say about that, though. Ohio turned the ball over on downs on their first possession and fumbled on their second. The Bobcat defense, though, was just as good as the Zips to start off, if not better. Akron was forced to punt on three of their first four possessions, and the other one was a missed field goal. In a game with only 12 total points scored, that proved to be crucial. Ohio went to the locker room with a 6-0 lead, but on Akron's first possession of the second half, they capped off an 11-play drive with three points of their own. Akron had a few nice drives on their next few possessions, and Ohio added a field goal, but it wasn't until Akron's final drive of the game that they had a real chance to win. With 1st and 10 at the Ohio 24, Akron took a sack and threw two incomplete passes. On 4th down, Zips quarterback Tyrell Goodman looked to Austin Wolf to give them the go-ahead score, but Goodman's pass fell incomplete and Ohio ran out the clock. The Bobcats outgained Akron 299 yards to 226 and led in nearly every statistical category. To, to call a game uh, ugly, ugly is in the eyes of the beholder, um, and that was a beautiful win. A win's a win, no matter how ugly it is. Um, we're excited for the opportunity to go to Detroit. We know we're going to be facing a good football team, whoever shows up. In addition to making their first MAC title game since 2011, kicker Louis Zervos tied the record for most made field goals by a freshman with his 25th made field goal of the season. The Bobcats also broke their program record for most sacks in a single season with 39. Coming into the season, many doubted an Ohio team that had just lost its starting quarterback weeks before the season started and had a young and inexperienced secondary. The Bobcats found ways to win, though, and no matter how they did it, Ohio coach Frank Solich knows that this team battled through tremendous adversity and deserves recognition for how they've played throughout the season. You know, there were so many close games, so many hard-fought games that, that came down to the last series or two um, that uh, these guys have earned it. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of, uh, of them uh, in, uh, in that regard. And, and uh, you know, they've, like I said maybe once before, they've made the game fun for me. Uh, some, uh, I, I'm not a fun-loving guy in a lot of ways, and, and I, I need help. And these guys, have, uh, these, these guys have helped me, you know, have, uh, have fun. And, and, uh, and, and so it's been great to, uh, to really coach a team uh, like this. So when you do have a team like this, you, you want to see them have success and, and uh, get, get a lot of credit. So the Ohio Bobcats will meet either Western Michigan, who will be undefeated, or a Toledo Rocket team that the Bobcats beat earlier this season in Toledo. Those two teams play on Friday to punch their ticket to Detroit for the MAC championship game that will be played on Friday, December 2nd at 7 p.m. For WOUB Sports and for the final time from Peden Stadium, I'm Sean Neidig.